I really feel like you're filming my, my up <laughs> upper lip. It's an ultra wide angle, man. Like it's just I'm just moving it closer as if it's like zooming. Mm -hmm. You can see, but just like it's just this. God, I'm handsome. like a new car in here. Mm, that new car smell. Yeah, it's not a myth. Brought to you by Lexus. Brought to you by Lexus. You got a hundred grand, you can have it too. You can smell the smell I'm smelling in my nose. Welcome to the Dirt on Cars. This week we're driving the 2018 Lexus LS 500. And it's nice in here. Under the hood, there's a twin turbo, 3.5 liter V6. It's got dual overhead cam and variable valve timing. That's pretty intelligent engine. It's got 416 horsepower, plenty of giddy up, and about that many torques. Ooh, yeah. Okay. It gave me a little hug, a seat belt hug. 20 inch wheels with run flat tires. Run flat tires are good in case you're being kidnapped by uh, arsonists. Not arsonists, ransomists. I don't even think ransomists is a word. That joke's too difficult. It's run flat tires are good if you're being shot at <laughs> because they don't go flat. <laughs> 10 speed automatic transmission because 10 is a large number and I want more in my $100,000 car, which is pretty smooth, but it does sort of, it has trouble finding a gear when you downshift. There's a little like, uh, really right now? Oh, okay. And then we accelerate. But you're not gonna, you know, run around mashing the gas on your hundred thousand dollar land yacht unless you want to do a very luxurious burnout. And you can turn your run flat tires into plumes and plumes of mm, delicious white smoke. Above us, we have a panoramic roof that lets in plenty of UV light. In the back seats, there are sunshades that unfurl like the Genoa on your dad's yacht. This particular LS500 has the executive package on it, which is a series of options, including four zone climate concierge, which if you'll remember from our previous video, just plays harpsichord music, really. And that package will set you back a cool 17 grand. That's one seven followed by three zeros. Wait, how many sevens? That's just the one seven, but preceding that seven is a one, and all of that is followed by three zeros. That's clear, right? <laughs> it is now. People will understand that. <laughs> the one seven followed by three zeros. Right. <laughs> and preceding the one seven is just a, a one. Yeah. Not so a. It's, it's one one. Just one one. One seven. seven three zeros. <laughs> this guy's not letting me over. I'm in a Lexus! My car's very expensive. How dare you? This Lexus, the LS500, starts, base price, $75,000. The options alone on this car cost $31,000. For the same money, you can buy this car and a brand new Dodge Durango. This car is about excess and luxury. It's got 23 speakers in it. Why? I don't know. That's a redundant, uh, not a redundant, what is it called? A rhetorical question. You can't answer me, you don't know. You're just a camera. It feels like you're driving a first class seat in an airplane. Look at this. These are airplane headrests. I'm just gonna, God, I'm handsome. Take a quick nap. <laughs> a lot of times I just like to pick up strangers in this car so I can have like in-flight conversations with unusual people. Oh, you're from Seattle, what's that like, huh? Rainy, I bet. Keep on first class, don't do that. Anybody could hold a camera, Alex. The infotainment interface is ridiculous. You've got this trackpad mouse thing that looks like it's off of a laptop from the 1990s. Hashtag nerd film. <laughs> and I don't want to linger on it, but it is like Lexus lost a bet to Honda or somebody. 
and now they have to like punish their patrons with this nonsense. You absolutely can't use it while you're driving. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. It's stupid. This car will talk back, but uh, it speaks in bells and chimes, and they're constantly going off. For example, if you take your seatbelt off at 70 miles an hour, you get one chime. I was really hoping it was going to freak out. <laughs> this car has, I don't know, five or six modes. It's got eco, comfortable, normal, custom, sport, and sport plus. That's probably six. Uh, Sport Plus stiffens things up a little bit, but if you leave it in comfort, it floats a little bit like an old Cadillac. The steering feel, it's heavy. It's heavy, isn't it? It feels like a quality implement, like a doctor's tool, or like the difference in uh, a Timex and a Rolex. You can just feel the weight, the gravity in it. It's nice. Heavy is good. Heavy is reliable. If it doesn't work, you can always hit him with it. They could have gone a different direction and, and over-assisted it so it's very light and almost twitchy, but they didn't. Thank you, Lexus. All right, I'll take it. Heated and cooled seats, obviously. These seats have a nice little trick. They massage you. They'll knead your back. I can knead myself. I can become so relaxed in this comfort and luxury that I actually fall asleep. A lot of cars do a heads-up display. This is the best I've ever encountered. It's in high definition, full color. It looks great. It even gives you cross-traffic alerts in the form of these little like sequential orange lines, which is very cool. I've already ranted about the speakers. We have 23 speakers. This car has 23 speakers in it, Alex. I don't know if you know, but there are 23 speakers crammed in the car. cabin. Yeah. Let's see if we can find all 23 when we're at North. One, two, Lexus has a sort of a divisive spindle grill on it. If you kind of didn't like the front of the car, but you bought it anyway because it was so comfortable, now you get to look at it every time you drive it. That was the saving grace before of the spindle grill. Well, you don't have to look at it while you drive. Lexus said, oh no, you will suffer the spindle again and again until you're broken. There are tin airbags stuffed in this car too, because it's safe. There's lots of great little details. We've got our analog clock, which lets you know that we're in a comfortable, luxurious car. There's real wood trim on uh, each door and on the console. My 28-way adjustable seats. Gets you fixed up seat-wise, steering wheel-wise. You feel like a fucking transformer. As nice as it is to drive, it's better to ride in. Cut to us in the back seat talking about the car. There. Now the working class can't see my comfort and luxury and get jealous. Stupid. The rear seat legroom is excellent, but in case it's not excellent enough, there's always more. Look at all this room! I'm like a YouTuber in a first class seat. Oh. Oh, that's nice. First class car deserves first class seating. And that's what you get in the Lexus LS500. Do you know what this is, folks, at home? This is evidence that Lexus can make a viable touchscreen interface. Why they punish us with a silly trackpad, I don't know. That's a horse that I've beaten to death multiple times. But we have climate control. We have seat control. Relaxation. I'm getting a delicious massage right now from what I can only imagine are Swedish elves in the seat. Mine feels like the heat is on. I don't like that. You can't stand the heat. Get out of get the out massage. The, get the f out of the Lexus. Sorry, I over... I, I, you say the line again. Yours was nice. <laughs> I have shades. I can uh, increase or decrease the privacy along with a little animation there. I feel so exposed. Let's just become a little more private. Yes. And we have settings. I don't know what they do. Each rear seat has its own vanity mirror, so you can make sure you're perfectly coiffed for your special business meeting. So, in 20 words or less, 10 words or less, how would you describe the LX, LS500? The LS500, satisfying to drive, not necessarily like a sports car. You get out feeling better than when you got in. It is expensive, but it honestly marks, in my opinion, a move in the right direction. Because a lot of times I got into Lexus, Lexi, Lexuses. Cacti, Lexis, 
Lexus, Lexis, that's gotta be it. <laughs> Lex, Lexuses. It seemed like they were grasping for the next rung up, but this one feels like a world-class luxury car. Granted, you're paying for a world-class luxury car, so it should. The only thing that lets this car down is a silly touchpad. You have to take your eyes off the road to operate it. Who can do that while they drive? It doesn't seem safe. If you're listening, Lexus, don't do it anymore, please. Getting out of the Lexus now. <laughs> <laughs>